Hi, God. Thanks for the shine. Hello, people. Let's hang out. Okay, so check this out right here. I'm going to show you something. See this right there? Boom. That's that San Diego mojo, man. That's what's up. Okay, so we were hanging out, and then we were online, and then we were just searching, and we were checking out, what are the people talking about, right? You know, so one of the people that we like to hang out with online, right, his name is Scott Adams, right? You know, so you can go and you can check him out on Twitter, but Scott's going through something right now, right? I was talking about this in a previous bit right here. But because who Scott is in this realm right now for the secular people, he's one of the voices, right? You know, so he gets to he gets to tell people and people listen to him and people watch him and then they follow him, right? You know, but check this out right here. He's having so much fun, right? This is what Scott's saying today, right? He's saying, I've been asked to summarize my current situation so you don't need to watch hours of live stream to understand the nuance, right? You know, so he has to explain why he's doing what he's doing. Okay, here's the summary. Summary, me. Avoid people who have been primed mm -hmm, by the media mm -hmm, to be racist against you. That's a fact, man. And then the media, racist. This is a funny bit, right? And then the public, bah, bah, cancel him. The end. So basically... That's what's going on with Scott Adams, right? You know, so so this is something that we've always had to go through through our whole life, right? Because of where we've come from, right? You know, because um, our biological father is one thing and then our biological mother is another thing. They got together, they had sexy time and then boom, that's how I became what I am right now, right? You know, that's why I look like how I look, <laughs> right? You know, so then we wrote this bit right here where it says to the family, right? And then it goes word drop because we're always dropping those words because the word is God, right? You know, and that's the seeds too, okay? So then we went racist, race, right? So we're going back to the origin. Racist race is a narrative, right? And account, right? From R-A-E-S, which means a running. From R-E-S, which means to rave, rage, right? Which means E-R-S or E-R-R, -R, which means er, right? Which means be in motion, wander around, done, okay? You know, so Whenever people are talking about race or racist, right, they're talking, they're just making you wander around, man. And then if you remember what happened in the Bible, right, and then you can always go back into the Bible and what happened to God's people when they were coming out of Egypt, right? They were wandering around for like 40 years, right, because they were listening to idols, right? You know, they were listening, they weren't following the word, right? You know, the word was super simple, right? They only had to go from point A to point B. They couldn't get from point A to point B because because they were listening to other entities, right? Always whispering in their ear and then they were always complaining, right? They were always complaining about things that, you know, they couldn't control, you know? So that's basically what's going on right now. And then that's why, you know, you will always have this argument amongst God's people where they talk about race or racism all because of what you look like, right? What you look like or where you come from. And then just think about these people that are always whispering in your ear and then they're trying to put you in the box, man. You know, so why do these people try to put you in the box, right? We always try to point you to the box of God, right? You know, and that means that we are all children of God, man, period, the end. There is no race, right? There is no thing that we're running, right? You know, there is no fire in that, where right? You don't err when you're one of God's children, man. You know, and if you know that you're God's people, and if you know that you're one of God's children, you're going to be cool. You're going to be in peace, man, because you know that we're all family, right? If you don't, if you don't know that, then you're going to think about things from a secular point of view and you're going to think about what nation you come from you're going to think about what your family looks like or what tribe right you're going to think about what tribe you come from right you know we're all descendants of noah right remember that noah means rest too right you know so now you can rest in Christ, right? That's why we're always trying to point you back to Christ because Jesus Christ is where you rest in now, right? And then when you put on the blood and then you get washed and then you repent, you will be cool, man. You will be at peace. And then you won't have to worry about running around and wandering anymore because you're worried about where a race you're in, man. You know, that's it.
you know, so we just wanted to put that together real quick, right? Because we were watching, we were watching the popular culture and in the popular culture is chattering. They're going to be chattering for this probably until the end of time, right? Because they've been brainwashed. They've been programmed for such a long time to think about things from, you know, complexion points of view, man. You know, that's it. You know, just hang out with the word, man. You know, go get your Bible, right? Go get the King James version of the Bible. Start from Genesis and then just start reading and then see what God says and see what God shows, man. He's laying out the contract for us, man. It's a trust agreement, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put this together. I'm gonna upload it. I'm gonna see how it flows, man. You know, thank you, God. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you, Christ. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. I'll talk to you guys in the future. Remember, nobody's having more fun than us. Bye.